Well, today is uh, Monday the 1st, or no, Tuesday, uh, Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, May the 1st, uh, happy May Day, uh, happy Cinco de Mayo Day to uh, everyone in a few days, and uh, I woke up late uh, at noon, I think, in my teepee, uh, lay there and was on the internet for a little bit, or I had a little notepad in hand, or a sketchbook, and you know, lay on my back or on my side because I'm a I'm a side sleeper. So I I usually you know I'm wrapped up. I'm semi nude or if I have clean pants or clean uh, clean little um, uh, uh, sweat bottoms on. And man, I steam baths last night too, so I was clean overall and. I'll wear clothes in the winter time when I sleep in a teepee or sleep in my house. And, uh, but mostly I sleep nude. But, uh, it was cold. It was 42 degrees, almost, almost upper 30 degrees uh, plus Fahrenheit uh, last night out in the teepee. Uh, basically, I sleep out in weather like this for the last month and a half. With only a thin uh, a layer or two of canvas uh, teepee, main teepee cover wall, and then the uh, uh, just a thin layer of uh, the uh, uh, inner uh, teepee liner uh, separating me from the elements, such as this. Because later on today, when I go back into the teepee around midnight, I'm gonna uh, go, I'm gonna. Uh, lay on my side again, hold my computer all as askew and uh, watch and spend time on the internet or something and then go to sleep like I went to sleep last night watching a movie. And of course, it's not advisable to have electronics outside uh, in uh, unless you keep them out of the uh, wet. There's uh, somehow we're coming up on uh, our yard. Uh, And somehow we're coming up here on, uh, oh, uh, somebody's home. These are the first houses here in our little village. And of course, I'm not going to exactly tell everyone where I live. But for the most part, most people, most of my friends do, do know where I live. But anyway, I got up late today and uh, only had to drive down to Glen Allen to mail stuff away. And uh, I had to put... Uh, Fuel, you can see on the, on the left side right now, the lower uh, gauge is the fuel gauge. And, uh, and of course those two big dials in front of you is the uh, speed and uh, the, uh, is the uh, what do you call it? Eh, I don't know. But anyway, uh, the uh, a torqueometer or the torque. Or the RPMs, yeah. The one on the left is the RPMs, and the other one's the miles per hour. So, anyway, so I put a little bit of fuel in this new truck of ours and uh, drove down to Glen Allen because I had to mail some important stuff away. Hey, look at this! Mom bought this a few months ago, or a month or two ago, and then I finally got to use it today when I was driving around. It's the cutest little plug-in uh, air freshener. It's a, an essential oil diffuser. You put about two ounces of water in there and uh, a few drops of your favorite oil and then you fucking plug it in the, uh, 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 into the little uh, DC volt power adopters. Now we're coming up on Red Lodge. Uh, Red Eagle Lodge. We're just passing a jackass cousin's place. So we're also passing uh, a jackass pothead, uh, Maury Carton, or Maori or Mary, or anyway, everything I say is a composite. Uh, I don't really specifically talk about people unless I re really specifically talk about people because they are bad and. I at least mention their full name, real name, once or twice. Other than that, everything I say or do or whatever is just a composite, so... 
Don't get your panties in a wad when you think I'm talking about you and I'm really not. Passing by some old structures here and there. This bike path uh, through our village, uh, it was built in the early 2000s. I was here when uh, all these beautiful trees that are just, that used to grow on this first berm here from the highway. Uh, equal to the, uh, the distance of these trees from the highway, that's what we would see when I, I first came here to Alaska. We were literally driving down a nice alleyway of uh, trees and stuff. But, of course, uh, everyone had to uh, improve upon the village here and destroy the trees on the right-hand side here. And, uh, of course, the bike path was made, so... There's our little well house, the uh, um, little ball field area, and uh, yeah, life goes on here like this. Everyone plays softball now and then, and some local groups get together with tournaments and stuff, and everyone has fun, and I, we're at mile 34 right now, so. And of course, we're coming up on our little village here, but the uh, trading post where I do most of my shopping. I grab my cat's food and uh, of course I do my laundry, so. But when I left here a few hours ago, three hours ago at 3 p.m.-ish, uh, this shit, look at this. Because this shit, this bullshit, that, eh, <laughs> I joke. This uh, snowfall <laughs> was not here. All of the snow was gone, um, except for residual here and there amongst the trees and stuff, and the occasional big snow berm snows that you see piled up. That was all here, but all of this other stuff, like in the ditch right there and on the, on the uh, post boxes, that shit was not there three hours ago. <laughs> and of course, you could see for miles because the fog and the uh, atmosphere was clear, so... Anyway, we're coming up on our little general store, and I'm going to post later on. So, this has been my day. And, oh, Jackass might be here with his uh, friends, but that's all right. It's okay. We're not enemies. I'm not talking to certain people, and they're not talking to me, but that's, that's their own damn fault, not mine. Hey, I am Lakota, and if you are, uh, then keep on being Lakota. Be it however you uh, are it. Whether you are fluent in the language and in, in dance and song, or whether you are just connected to your culture in other ways, keep on being that. I am connected to my culture in many ways. Mm because of my connections right now to the teepee and because of my connections to other things uh, and you can't become connected in the manner that I am connected unless you give up religion, give up philosophy give up many of those things that you once believed in and uh, held so dear you have to give up much not to say that you throw away any of your knowledge about, oh, one plus one is two, and uh, I have five dollars, and I can I can go to the store and buy five dollars of worth of anything, and, you know, you have to stay with the basic rules of life and things around you, yes, to some degree, well, I guess to a, a certain degree, but as far as um, connecting in many ways, we all have to give up many things. And uh, a lot of those things are your weaknesses after you make them become strengths and make your strengths become even more. So anyway, this shit, look at this bullshit. It's the first of May, God damn it! And eh, I joke. But anyway, this is our sec. Actually, this is our third winter here. I have not posted up other things. This is our third fucking winter right now. We had our first spring, and then we had our first semi-false spring. And uh, now we have our third winter here. And, uh, eh, I joke. 
But uh, there are other places in the country that And in my case of alcoholism, uh, that's been hitting the bottle a bit too hard. Yeah. Uh, somebody needs to slap that uh, pipe out of Mama Nature's ha uh, hands and uh, uh, tell her to get with the program because it's May 1st. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to unplug my little device uh, because I am what I am. We are what we are. Uh, the economy is good for us in many ways. I'll leave my truck running. In the dead of winter, of course, you're going to leave your vehicles running and lock them up. And uh, in this, there is safety and peace for you. And, of course, um, if you're in a safe village, then you're all right. And if everyone knows you, uh, your stuff is okay. And you are fine. So, I am who I am. I have my uh, name and my... Also, the various markings or things upon me that... Okay, and this is how you uh, fold this little device up. It's called a uh, Guru Nanda. Uh, it's a little car diffuser. You just... This is how it came out of the package. The little bulb was clear and empty, but... Uh, of course, it's like the standard little socket. Uh, you need some type of little fuse in there. Once it burns out, then you can replace it. Or this one don't look like you can replace it. Then it probably has a capacitor in there somehow that's uh, not like the standard fuses, I guess. I'm used to replacing fuses and all of my stuff. No, you can't replace that. And this is the mechanism that feeds down to the wick that pulls out the, uh, the stuff and diffuses it. 1.5 uh, watts... Uh, and water capacity 50 milliliters. So, anyway, well, all right, 6:41. I'm gonna run in and uh, grab some coffee here and there. And of course, mission accomplished because I mailed away some things uh, that were important to my family uh, back east. And uh, because I have a few bucks uh, of uh, my veterans' uh, VA check money, so. And of course, uh, I don't have much money now, and I got my check Monday, so paid some bills with it. And today I bought cat food at the at Glen Allen, and uh, I really didn't buy anything like I normally do. So that's the economy then is in, in many ways is getting bad for all of us. Things are expensive. The thirteen dollar bag of cat food, uh, sixteen pounds of cat food that I bought for my cats. Uh, Right there, you'll see it, Johnny Cat or something, Alley Cat. You know. That food uh, now price went up to nineteen dollars, and that's the cheapest cat food so far on the hardware, or the other trading post, or the uh, IGA food store, wherever the fuck that I grabbed the cat food from. Uh, like I said, composites. I'm not really going to say specifics of who, what, where, when. Sometimes, but. Anyway, that was the cheapest cat food in the three places, four places that I stopped. So, the price went up from thirteen dollars to nineteen dollars. So, and uh, everything else was twenty-five to thirty dollars for the same amount. So, so I didn't buy anything. Normally, you'd see pop and see a bag of, uh, uh, you would see a bag of uh, Jojo potatoes from the deli and uh, a bag of some chicken tenders or some a couple of chicken breasts. And, but no, I I don't eat that anymore. I don't do that anymore. I don't have money to do all that all the time. In fact, I'm not even smoking very much either. So, and that's good. But uh, the economy goes up and down for everyone. It's good and bad for everyone. Even the super rich and all that got their shit to worry about. And even they get frustrated and mad over certain things. So, people are people. <laughs> And that's the uh, terrible secret, uh, the vast knowledge about things you should know. People are people. So don't worry about what's going on in your life. There's things going on in other people's lives too. And uh, we're all in the same boat as long as we are a somewhat human being and we live here on this uh, earth and live here in this reality that we uh, have collectively share, uh, are sharing with each other. Uh -huh. uh, take a clue from that that other people are telling you. 
and also from the individual realities that you can make up for yourself every day. And uh, there's deep mysteries in that. You have to find out what those things are for yourself. So I'm not going to tell you. Of course I will, and I have, but other people much smarter than me have also told you too. So Anyway, got to run in and hopefully grab some coffee, maybe buy a pop, and uh, go back to my house, load this shit up, and uh, feed my damn cats. God bless you. And goddess bless you, and creator keep you all safe.